Okay, in order to take credit cards, you need a company that will process that credit card for you. Houses is set up to process uh, Stripe and PayPal. Those are the two that I'm interested right now in. Um, Stripe seems to be pretty straightforward, pretty easy to set up. PayPal is a little bit more of a problem, especially like me. I've not had my PayPal account for a long time, and I don't want to mess with it too much. So I want to play with this Stripe. So I set up an account, and I followed their instructions to set up the account. And that's about as far as I'm going to go here with, with setting up the account. Once you have the account set up, well... That'll throw us over here. So once you have your account set up, you'll be at the home screen right here. Now the first thing you need to do is you need to set up some products. So you go over here to billing, and then you go over here to products. So you're going to set up a products, a product in your billing, not a subscription. You need to set up a product. Okay. Now, as you can see, I've set up some products here. Now the way you can set up products let me show you is on the standard plan I already did this I set up the product for the standard plan and it gave me a product ID that's the product ID then from the product I set up a monthly fee I set up for a quarterly so they could pay forty nine ninety five per quarter and every half a year and every year then as I was doing this, I started thinking, if somebody pays me $199 for a year and they sell their house in the first month, they're going to want a refund. And I don't want to mess with this refund stuff right now. Maybe later I can do that, but right now I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to go through these. I'm only going to use the one. So in this situation, let's say, here's my one. One month, $19.95, and here is the um, ID. So it's um, a plan. And we're going to just copy that, Control-C, or right-click and copy. Now we're going to go over to the page, um, our packages page, and let's just go through this. So when we're on our packages page, and we go to the standard package, Now I have to think, was that the standard package? The standard package, okay, standard monthly package. And now, right here, where it says to uh, put the Stripe package ID, we're going to control V or right click and paste, okay? And that package will be in there. Now there's going to be a correlation between the Stripe account, which is going to read that package number, and it's going to know how much to charge. So we'll update that one there. While that's updating, I'm going to shoot over here, go back to my products, get my plus plan, and then in my plus plan, I'm going to take the plan ID, and I'm going to copy it. I'm going to right click on the mouse and do a copy. I'm going to go back over here. This has been updated, but we've got to go back to the packages. I could hit the back button because that's where we were. And um, we're going to go over here to the plus. We're going to edit the plus. We're going to go in here and let's see, do we have it? Yeah, I think we do, but I'm just going to do it again. Just to double check. Yes, D1X, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now, with that said, we're going to save this one. Now, as we're, we're talking about this and we're talking about these packages, and we could have a link that goes to explain more about what each package is about. And we will be doing this later, but I just want you to know that's here. You can make a page and talk about what the plus package includes so that somebody would buy the plus package or understand everything about it. And in that, maybe later on when I do multi-months, I'm going to make it a point to say 
that once you pay for this package, there is no um, getting a refund on the months that you didn't use if your house sold prior to the end of the package. And the whole reason for that is going to be because that's what we do. Our whole business is to try to get your house sold. That's the whole thing we're working on, not refunding money. Because if we go into this refunding, I could just see nightmares right there. With this said, we're going to end this tutorial and show you that you have to type, get your Stripe package set up over at Stripe. you got to get your Stripe account set up over at Stripe, and then you need to put your Stripe packages in here. That's if you're using Stripe. If you want to use PayPal, well, then you don't have to do any of this. You can just do your PayPal stuff. Right now, I'm working with um, this Stripe, and so... These are the lessons I'm making. I might make a lesson with PayPal in the future, but right now we're working with Stripe.